Apple One being sold for so Blue? much money lately? Is that anything else? Is that, is that really the first one? Um, it wasn't the first Apple One. The first Apple One was given to Liza Lowop at the Homebrew Computer Club. Oh yeah, no, I gave it to yeah. her. Steve Jobs made me pay three hundred bucks for it. Yeah, she's very proud of that. She still has yes, that. she has the number one. Yeah. And I, I got a, I got an email on a Sunday <clears throat> mm -hmm. from somebody at Christie's had heard that I had told somebody online I'd be happy to sign it for whoever buys it, mm. you know. And they contact Christie's and Christie's sent me an email. The seller is willing to pay your way to the auction first class. Whoa. Interesting. I, I had three hours. I had to catch a flight because it's a Tuesday auction. If it's Tuesday morning, I have to fly <laughs> Sunday to get there Monday. Wow. I, I got my flight real quickly, and I got a two-for-one deal. Some airlines, yeah. I get two-for-one. Okay. So I buy one ticket, and, yeah. and then I my wife was flying back from London at the time. I couldn't contact her. Oh. I didn't know when her flight landed. I had to make a bunch of calls to find out. Hers is going to land at 5. Mine takes off at 5.30. Oh. I got the latest flight I could. I took my daughter with me. Wow. We went to London. We were at the auction. You're sitting in this, we went upstairs. Yeah. They had a real Enigma machine. They opened it oh, up. Cool. My daughter and I got to type on it and see the numbers light up. Oh, wow. We got, and then we got to see all this other rare, rare stuff that was being auctioned off there. Hmm. So we go into the auction. I got to, a bunch of booklets. I'd open them up. There's a cellophane thing. You'd pull a little, a little document out, and it's an hmm. old falling apart brochure. Hmm. Turing's original works, publication. Like his notes and stuff? Oh my God, and I'm looking at his formulas for symbols, which I had just studied recently. I uh. just started quivering. <laughs> and that one got a bid of 200000 but it didn't sell because the huh. reserve was three hundred. You never huh. know what the reserve is. Huh. And then the, the uh, we, we go, so we get into the auction. There's an auctioneer up there. Yeah. There's two rows along this big, long, big, long table-like thing or desk-like thing with a whole bunch of people with phones hmm. talking to telephone bidders. And they're probably watching it online. Yeah. Then there's then there's a, a video monitor in the back and it's online <clears throat> bidders. So sometimes the auctioneer will call. We got you know seventy eight hundred from uh, from from Portugal and yeah. he'd go uh, eight thousand from from Hong Kong. You know yeah. he's yeah. calling those off and the audience. Some of the bidders would just do a little nod or something to do, do a bid. Yeah. My head starts itching. <laughs> <laughs> My head starts itching, you know, and I didn't want to scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, too. We were afraid to make a move. Even though we hadn't registered and gotten an official bidder's number. To, you know, because some of these books were going for yeah. half a million bucks. Wow. You mean the auction? We, you yes, know, but the they're, they're, having one, books, yeah. they're having books going yeah. from 50000 from basically 15000 up to... Five hundred thousand yeah. dollars, and with that kind of bidding, your head itches. You do not want to reach up and scratch it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, and then I got to meet the seller yeah. finally. I didn't know the seller when I went over there, ah. but I got to meet him. And then on the phone, I got to talk to the buyer. He's oh. in Italy. He's going to put it in a museum in Turin. Wow. Yeah. Wow. These guys yeah. should know about it, I guess. Huh? That, that's, um, uh, well, they'll see it. Yes, Marco. Yeah. Somebody, the guy who bought the Apple One computer recently for. Two hundred and twelve thousand dollars, or something wow. like that. And yeah, it's going to be for. He's in Italy, and it's going to be in Turin. What is it called? In I the mean, museum. Apple One. No, no, no. The the guy. What's Marco. The I'd have to look it up on my email. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that in Turin there was a computer museum. Oh, yes. is, they've is been trying to get me to visit it for some time, but hasn't worked out yet. Wow, that, that that's a good connection. I mean, we can yeah. uh, we can visit him. I oh, didn't yeah. know that. He's yeah, and he bought a real Apple One. Yes. Wait, but yeah. the seller. The seller had bought it a few months before on yeah. eBay for 50000 The seller said, eBay is not the right place to sell something like this. They didn't know it. So he got it at a steal. He was willing to go up to 250000 on eBay. Wow. So he got it for fifty, and then he sold it at Christie's Auction House for two hundred. Wow. in three months. I mean, he just sort of knows scientific stuff. Yeah. What it's he's in that world. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but those papers by Turing, wow, that must have been that's awesome. Yeah. Unbelievable to go go through them and read them. Who's selling them? I mean, who are trying to sell them? Um, private collector. I don't know. Some somebody you know. You don't collector. know who the sellers are. Yeah. I even went over, on this Apple One. The guy offered to pay my way over. I didn't know who he was. I got there and hoped hoped he would pay. Mm -hmm.